I teach visual art in Colorado. Each week I will share a new warm-up with you that addresses state standards. These warm-ups can easily be modified to fit national standards or the standards in your state. Each warm-up will take 10 to 15 minutes of class time and are appropriate for grades 6 through 12. Warm-ups are a great way to address a wide range of standards and ensure that your students are spending the majority of their time being artists, making art. This week I'm going to talk about Matthew Palladino and the term conceptual art as it relates to contemporary art. Students walk into my classroom with the warm-up displayed on the board. After the bell rings, I introduce them to the artwork of Matthew Palladino with a quote from a recent interview with Gabe Scott at Juxtapose. The darker content is usually influenced by a mix of current and historical events. I don't start with the mindset that I'm going to make a piece dark. I think it all gets consumed, then expelled through the work. In a in an attempt to gain a deeper understanding of people, I try to observe their actions at their worst as well as their best. There are hard truths in there. I feel myself having to sit with it a while, trying to put myself in the mind of the offender and the victim. But if you spend too much time there, it starts to eat away at you. So then I try to untangle it from my consciousness, which make, making art helps to do. The darker stuff I try to be careful with, especially when dealing in real life events. My hope is I'm respectful when going down these ugly rabbit holes. They're not my stories, and these things really happen to people, so I try not to get too emotionally self-indulgent or fetishistic. But something about it draws me in, and that's the cycle that ensues. I review the term conceptual, conceptual relating to or based on mental concepts, and then provide them with directions. Review the artwork of Matthew Palladino, the posted quote from an interview with him, and the definition of the word conceptual. Using a perfect three-sentence answer, explain what you think it means for artwork to be conceptual. This will be your ticket out. A perfect three-sentence answer is a writing format we use in my classroom and could easily be substituted for another term, concept, or practice. I always like to pick these up at the end of class. It helps me check in with students and make sure they completed their assignments. This warm-up is available on my blog and at Teachers Pay Teachers. I provided a link to both in the description below. If you've liked this video, I hope to see you again next week. Like and subscribe to be notified the next time I post. Every artist was first an amateur. Ralph Waldo Emerson. Mm -hmm.